Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2023 Derby City Classic. This is round one action. Playing bank pool here. Bank pool here at Derby City Classic is a short rack bank pool. Nine balls on the table. First person to make five balls wins. It's a race to three. Every foul will cost you a ball. They got to be good, clean banks. No kisses, combos, or caroms. Efren wins the leg there. Efren will be playing Mark Maxi. Mark is out of uh, Louisville, Kentucky. My name is Summerfield Habner, sitting in here with Railbirds. Big shout out to them. Big shout out to Bad Boys. Thank you for your help on the stream here. Efren will break. It's not winner break or alternate break. It's winner's choice to break. So Efren, of course, is going to elect to break here. Pretty special to get to do any kind of Efren match here. Efren's uh, 68 years old, arguably the greatest player of all time. And creativity is a huge part of Bankpool. And I am thrilled to get to watch him play some. I really like starting with the one ball here. It's got a great lane. Can hit a pretty full ball. You can control the cue ball well off that. That's your obvious starter. Again, made one on the break, so that'll spot after his turn. This is the first event at Derby City Classic, so these tables are brand new, brand new cloth. Very slippery. See Efren missing that one. Little, little off, still dialing it in. Looks like he's got a clear path to the two. He's definitely going to have to stiff that. Looks like he's got room to do it, though. Louisville, Kentucky, they play a lot of bank people down here. So this is everybody's kind of first first time playing on these tables. Like you said, brand new diamonds, and this is the year they reduce the pocket size. So uh, these are four and a quarter, very tight tables. I played on them, and it absolutely does impact. Uh, yeah, your shooting ability. It's a challenging challenging to pocket the ball. Efren missing a little wide. It looks like that slip's still getting him a little. I think he's got a clear path on the 10 ball here. Looks like the straight back might go on the three here as well. Just got to get around the one. If the 10 goes though, that's, that's my shot. Let's see what Mark likes. Looks good to me. Rolls it in there. First to strike. I like playing the one. The one's going to go in that lower left-hand corner pocket. Especially when it's slipping this much, the wider the angle gets, the more difficult it is for me to judge how it's going to slip off that rail. Good look at it. It's going to be short. Puts himself in great shape on that seven ball. And unfortunately in bank pool, when you miss that ball, your opponent's got a great look at a bank. So 
Efren still dialing this table in. Good look at the seven. Back of the pocket. Kind of got in a tricky spot here. Yeah, the 3-1 block in the pocket. I mean, you're jacked up over the six ball, shooting the two. Probably gonna run into a... All right. It's like playing this three rails. A little wide. All right, 1-1. One, one. It's going to be a good look for Mark here. Just an honor to get to watch Efren play. It's pretty rare to have a career that lasts as long as his has and has been, I mean, he's just been prominent in the game for such a long period of time. Very common winner. And bank pool discipline, he won this first in 2005. Won again in 2010. And that's all for bank pool, but man, you start looking at the one pocket wins, and it's this guy. I think he's in the rafters more than any other player. Almost positive. Nice shot there. It's that snappy little draw stroke. That's a good. I think the six ball is coming up here. A little steeper angle here. You can pass the six ball or you can just uh, kind of nip and stiff it. I I kind of like passing it on this one. He's looking at the straight back on the five, which is also a little funky angle. I like passing the six here because I'm going to come in contact with a three one. And if I'm trying to run out, I would like to open those balls up. Like he's stiff in it. Drills it. Nice shot. Straight back on the nine looks pretty good. He's got a little reach, so that makes it a little tougher. Uh, straight back on the two goes. And obviously cross corner in the upper left. Like he really wants to sneak that five by the two. I don't think he's got room to go on the side. I think he's got to play that down table. Kind of looking at that side pocket, you can kind of draw a line out of the center of the pocket at that top rail and kind of see how far down the rail you can hit with avoiding the, the two ball. And I think if he hits that wide, I think it's going to go wide on him. Who knows if you can see it better than I can at the table. Yep, got a 3-1 lead. Last thing you want to do is sell out a shot and give it back to him. Really wants to sneak that by there.
this is one where if I, if I'm looking at it this much, I might consider, I mean, taking the, a, a two railer and playing safe, like on the three. Yeah. So just dead into that two. Look out. Oh, cue ball slipping in there. All right. Rough scratch there. That's going to cost him a ball. Spots that up, drops to two. If you're playing bank pool, the number of balls on the table plus the number of the balls scored should add up to nine. So it counts, right? After a ball in hand in the kitchen. Looks like his spot shot's blocked. I think the... I think you can bank the five ball around that four. Yeah, straight back on the nine. A lot of bank pool players really like these straight backs. I don't consider myself a bank pool player, but I do really like these straight backs. Yeah, I've got a little, little sticky on him. Turn it back around. Looking at the two. Uh, the five definitely comes straight back. I, I like the straight back on the five. great. Uh, the two ball comes in that upper left hand corner pocket. Three ball goes in the upper right. This is kind of the, the same turn Efren just shot, just a little wider on the two ball. Short again. <clears throat> so you see him just hunting. I mean, he's getting right there. Just not quite able to get it to fall yet. You really got to take advantage of these times with that friend, too. If he hasn't found his groove, that's your about the only chance you're going to get. catch him and he's still thinking about his chess game maybe you got a chance Efren plays a ton of chess out here it's like trying to get that two ball five doesn't look like it comes into play it sounded like a little miscue there so let's see if he likes the open angle on the four or he wants to try that uh, straight back again Different, different side, but using the three to pull it straight back. It's come short on this the last two times. A little wide. All right, hit the one in the middle. Pretty straight bank on this four ball. Definitely got a Got to come inside it. It's not, I mean, center to center by any means, but very easy to bank that ball in the lower left. That's probably your easiest shot here. Four also plays in the upper right. If those cross banks a little more. Bank pool is a very streaky game, and I know these tables are playing tough, especially brand new slippery cloth. 
thought was interesting those first two days at Derby. So plays the passer this time. A little short, but that's hangs it in the pocket. Right around there anyway. Can't really tell if Efren wants to spear that five or play the nine a little wider angle. Yeah, it looks like he's got plenty of room here with the five. Yep, just dragging that up table. Looks good to me. Wow, that ball didn't fall. Well, oh, it doesn't get much closer than that. They say when you're putting, you want to hit six inches too long, not six inches too short, but that's just about perfect speed right there. Leaves the cue ball down on the rail. Efren also doesn't want Mark to get away with anything. I don't see much to work with here. The nine ball goes in the upper right-hand corner pocket. You got to watch the scratch if you shoot that shot. Should be fine getting around the four, but pretty low percentage shot from there. I would consider thinning off the nine ball and coming back up table if I was shooting it. Looks like he's kind of in offensive mode. Looking at having room on that four ball, and it just doesn't look like it to me. Again, he sees it way better than I do down on the table. The boy jacked up nine feet away. Trying to make a hero shot here. Okay, so he was playing the nine. Very close on that ball. Checking up to get out of the way of that scratch. Excellent try. Efren's got the straight back here on the one or the wide nine ball on the upper right. I think he's gonna like the one ball. close a little wide again I don't know if there's anyone in the world better at being close to your object ball cue ball object ball real close to one another I'd see Efren just shoot some strokes that blow my mind not much doing here taking a look at that one the nine ball does bank in the upper left hand corner pocket Looks like he has room on the one, the one in the upper left. I didn't think he could see it. Awful close. Good try in that bank. Pretty free bank here. Nine in the upper right hand corner pocket. This is a tough one to judge, especially with things slipping. Yeah, I saw that thing slip just right wide on him. I think <clears throat> your easiest offensive shot here is probably the four railer on the one. Might be able to throw that three ball wide in the upper left hand corner pocket. Looks like you can barely see enough of the ball to make it happen, but especially like we're talking about with new slippery felt, might be able to do it. A lot of bank pool players like this four railer. Can get you in trouble if you keep the cue ball hung around there because it typically lands somewhere around the pocket when you shoot it. Easy to just sell a, a return bank pretty easily. Yeah. If 
he's thinking about playing safe. I like what he's thinking. Uh, denting off this two ball, getting under the two three, gets you through an inning. Well, definitely uh, diligent, taking his time. Yeah, that two's pretty close to the rail. You might not be able to thin under it. You might just have to pocket the two and get under the three. He's looking at playing safe here. I don't think he's trying to turn that ball in the upper left. You can see him loading up with a bunch more outside if he was. Just playing safe. Protects the two ball. Okie doke. Efren's about to fire that four railer. Or ducking. Just make that five. It's not going to get all the way down, so it leaves a return bank on the five. Uh, the one also crosses in the upper left-hand corner pocket. It's not the safest play, but I think you kind of want smart, Mark to shoot. There's a long break between that last inning, and I think he's says, go ahead and shoot away. Efren wants to get comfortable. Yep, crossing over here. Huh, oh, jacking up. Sure why he's elevating, but looks like he was trying the two railer. And this could hurt. Um thirteen's dead in the side. Got plenty of room to work with that one ball. Efren really likes these. Very dangerous with the one pocket banks. This is a hanger for him. He's going to hit this firmer than he would play in one pocket, of course. So 13 get open for the straight back. Looks like if he can be beat the kiss on this nine ball. I think he's going to have to play this with inside. I don't think he'll come around it. Gets it to stretch out. Beautiful shot. He needs two. Straight back on the 13 is there. He's got to be careful not to duck under that three and scratch. It's a little wide. Yeah, that was a tight angle to try and hold for. Taking a 3-2 lead. Nice shooting. See a little bit of just how dangerous this thing can be. Um, and that's just the start of it.
Coming in the upper left-hand corner pocket there. So really committed to make that ball. Wasn't really thinking about if he missed. It's uh, leaving this one's a tough way to win for sure. I think Efren would. I would probably want to play off the three here if he makes that ball. He's going to come all the way down table. Probably just going to try to not make it. Yeah. Uh, two ball still banks, though. Two ball goes in the side if you want to try it. He only needs one. Mark needs them all right now. He's looking at playing safe. It's a good job putting him on the rail. Good separation. And this is kind of a funky angle for Efren on the three. It does go. If he swings at anything, he might play that four rails as opposed to straight back. Think he called the poor railer. Catches the two ball. Look at that cue ball. <clears throat> yep. Well, excellent play on the two. Leaves an open shot on the three, but he's shooting off the rail on that jam corner. Those chairs are in. A tough spot to be shooting out of that corner. I've played on this table and it's it's a little jammed back there. I think I'd be sitting on that chair. Might be looking in the lower right here. Most bank pool players are going to call a number of rails and then the pocket that they're intending as opposed to which ball they're shooting. All right. Well, nothing doing there. Nothing but a hero shot, but it is the magician we're talking about. I think he's just going to thin off this three ball. He's looking at the three railer. At this point, you're swinging for one. Look at the shot. Get in the hole. Wow. Wow. That's a nasty three railer right there. Highlight reel, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, Efren Reyes taking down that first game here at the 2023 Derby City Classic. Oh, good. We get to see a replay. Yeah, so getting the cue ball out of the way, you got a little chase. Opened up perfectly there. Doesn't fall it in with the cue ball. Whew. Nice out there for Efren Reyes. He's going to break. Watch that four in the lower left. I notice, especially in these early rounds... It's a lot tougher to break Efren with no problem. Knocking a couple down. Not sure the 10 ball gets through. Um, I think he's probably either going to play the 10 back at him or the 15 back at him. If he's got the edge of the 14... Might try that. Yeah, this back cut bank on the 10 ball is something he's very familiar with. Yep. 
So didn't didn't quite slip off that rail for him. He came a little short. Two ball spot, and this is a great opening position here for Mark. Gotta knock these first couple down. Six is going in that upper left hand corner pocket. Didn't quite get in there for him, just a little bit wide. One ball in the side pocket. Yeah, these are the kind of banks you're not going to see Efren roll. Really wants to keep that line as straight as he can. Six ball has a great line to come in the lower right. Pretty. It's on a run of two. Two ball gets through the traffic. And I think that's what he'll shoot. Yeah, that gap on the 1411 doesn't look big, but he's got plenty of room here. Catches the edge of the 11. So that was going wild. Right, two down, three to go for Efren. Straight back on this 15 is looking pretty good. that pretty nice just a little bit wide um, looks like the two can get to a rail and back over I think the two is inhibiting the 15 or that's what he'd like to shoot it's also got the straight back on the 11 yeah that two ball is great this is a fun shot um, the way the cue ball passes the two puts natural English on the two ball throws it right in it looks like you don't have enough rail to work with but hitting this perpendicular to the rail and just allowing the twist on the ball to do its thing. Beautiful shot for Efren. Straight back on this 11. He might go on the upper left. Got to be a little cautious of the scratch on both. Just got to hit a little below center of the cue ball here. Don't want to roll it. Little short, hangs him on the rail. All right, Efren needs two. Looks like he's got room on that 14 ball. If he wants to try and play something safer, I think he can do that 10. He can either play it to the side pocket or the upper right-hand corner. I think 14's the, the easy decision here, though. I'm pretty sure he's got enough that ball. Yeah, you're down 3 nothing. Already down a game. You really want to make sure you get back in this thing.
What I like about the 10 ball is your ability to just stay down on this part of the table and not sell much out. So it looks like he's shooting. Looks like he's just pocketing that ball, staying down table. Tries to leave him nice and straight. I do think he protected against the 14. I don't think the 11 gets around the 15, but the 11 does come in that upper right hand corner pocket. And Heffern's feeling pretty comfortable. I, this is a free bank for him. I think he'll definitely shoot the 11. Just hanging him on the back of the ball. Perfect speed. Getting, getting a little applause for that safety shot there. Efren definitely one of the more popular players of this tournament, if not the most popular player. Really common to see a crowd around him. I barely want to move that 12 ball here. I'd like to come back and sit him on the ball. You might want to just bring him all the way down to the rail. Elevating is a tough way to not move those balls much. Yeah, I might have been doing a little too much with that one. Uh, kind of gets away with it, though. The 9 doesn't come back in the side. He's got a pretty straight bank there on the... I believe that's a 12. Yeah, that'll come in the lower left-hand corner where he points at. Only needs two here. It rolls in for him. Oh, wow. Cursed him. That looked like it was to go. It didn't look wide enough. That almost falls for him. Fourteen ball looks like it goes around the five. Yeah. That's your shot there. You don't want to sell at the eleven if you miss. But it looks like he's got a good line to do it. short sometimes it feels that way especially playing on a new table you're just like man can't quite find that line so I'm knocked down a couple obviously banks the ball really good but these are tough playing conditions it's a pretty thin clip on the nine ball if you take it but it does go a little wide look out corner pocket yeah I was gonna say you don't have to watch the scratch there but if you carry him off a ball always got to be cautious of that not sure if you can see enough of the 10 to bank in that side calls the cross side Barely gets a cue ball out of the way. Barely avoids a scratch. Not quite able to pocket that one. Boy, and this could be curtains. Dead in on this 11. Both the 9 and 10 go. Hits it short. Well, pretty big opportunity here for Mark. Gets away with one there, and he's got a good look at this 9. Uh, straight back on the 10s there, but... I really like this cross cross side. If 
Just a little wide for him. Barely missing that scratch again. Ooh. He's got the spot shot on the six or the wide 11. I think he likes the 11. <clears throat> I think I like the spot shot from here. So much of this is just up to preference, just how the balls are laying, and a little, little teeny bit on the table can make a lot of difference for your comfortability. If you make this one, you're in pretty shape to get out. All right. Mark stepping to the table with a couple good looks at Banks. You can see the edge of the nine, but not sure if you can see enough of it to drag it up to that side pocket. Six definitely goes. Maybe grabbing a, a new shaft? Not really sure. Screwing something together. Pretty hard to pass on that six ball. It is juicy. it. I think he's a little flat on the 11 to play the 11. Oh, it's a tough one to get your cue ball out of the way. It is, I, I do believe it's possible. Pretty straight bank on the 5, the nine clips in the side if you want to do it. line of this cue ball 11 ball lined up to the high side of that lower right hand corner pocket looks like a kiss to me gotta catch this nine ball really really thin hard to hit that ball thin enough to not go wide all right well knocking one down getting himself on the board not sure if Efren has enough of this rail to work with that's close to this you really got to put some magic on this ball. It's that straight. You got to get the cue ball out of the way. Yeah, I don't think he's going to duck inside of it. I, it's just so straight, I don't think he's going to shoot it. Yeah, the five ball's a very easy bank from there. There's a lot of distance, though. If you see anything really fade with older players, it very rarely has anything to do with touch or stroke. It has more to do with, with eyes and just the physical limitations of getting older. So it does try to gunder it. And he, he hit that ball so hard, it, it's hard to get the ball to bite that much. But yeah, that was, that was a tricky little bank. Good shot for Mark. This is the shot you want to be looking at. little short just barely sneaks out of bankable range for Efren he may be gonna thin that 10 I think if he played a bank here it would probably just be the straight back never mind okay playing the three railer so he likes those banks where he's making pretty full contact. No, he was playing the straight back. Man, just about eased it in there. I didn't think he could see the edge of that nine ball. Looks 
looks like the five is, five is available from there. Yeah, that 11. I don't think it bangs around the 10 there. I don't think the 9 goes between the gap of the 5, 12. Uh, maybe it does. I like the 5 if you can see it. That's a good line. I think the table's just getting him at this point. He's going to like that straight back on the 10. Pretty sure Efren will pass this one. I love watching. Oftentimes, he taught me, I mean, all about the interaction with the cue ball on this rail and getting the cue ball out of the way. You see him play that inside, just rolling right past it. Draws that ball towards the pocket. in a little wide that time. The English just didn't really catch for him. Two railer on the side here on that 15 is a great way to control your cue ball. Take a swing at a bank and leave your opponent in a tough spot. Got a nice wide open pocket there. All right, he's looking at playing at three rails there. So, yeah, just slipped a little off there for him. Yeah, when it's looking a little narrow or a little shallow like that, a lot of people play that three. If he had room for two. Yeah, nine in the lower left. This is an easy one to control the cue ball. It's got a natural path to get back up table. Pretty free swing here. Just playing the Z bank. I did not see that coming. Still gets his cue all the way down, down table. I'm surprised he liked that one over, over the one railer. Looks like the nine might have a line in the lower right-hand corner pocket. Definitely goes in the upper left. Gotta look out for your cue ball here, though. It looks like a kiss to me. Yeah, hard to say if you could have got out of the way of that one. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, the way that Efren dips under these shots. Oh, he's got a room to stiff it. Never mind. Yep, trying to stay on the outside of that ball. That'll spot up. Just slipped out a little bit on him. A lot of good lines here. Ten ball comes straight back. Both the 11, five go around the three. And only needs two. Really got to buckle down and make this ball if you're going to shoot it. It's going to open up the 15. Drills it. Nice shot. Good look at the three here. He needs three to win this game.
Nathan to the rack eight. Lisa Shaw has a five to the <laughs> little wide. See, I mean, the table is naturally giving you that. It's naturally giving you those just slip up and a little bit wide. Got to figure out how to correct from that. Good shot to get him there. Efren will play the three as well. There it is. We're going to hit that pocket. Uh, can get the cue ball out of the way of the 15. He looks like he likes the 5 or 11. Again, likes to work close to, close to the ball. Needs one. That'll do. Back of the pocket, Efren Reyes taking a 2 0 lead here at the 2023 Derby City Classic. Thanks for tuning in here with Railbirds Productions. Tournament sponsors for this event Diamond Billiard Products, all these tables we're talking about, all the lights you see out there. Again, these are their, their Pro Series, beautiful tables. Uh, Simonis Cloth, Aramith Billiard Balls, Outsville AccuRack, AccuStats Video Productions and Master Billiard Chalk. Looks like we're taking a little break here. These were a long couple games, so Efren stepping away for just a minute. Efren to break with a 2 nothing lead. Four ball catching a little high this time. Try break. Yeah, not a real easy starting bank for you here. Six ball goes. 11 ball goes. Tries to sneak that two pass. I'm not sure if it had a line. A little easier table to look at here for Efren. Six balls pretty straight. I like working with something on the side. Four balls pretty juicy as well. call this a one pocket bank and oftentimes you're going to see that with a shot selection more likely to shoot the one pocket style banks catches that a little bit wide taking a look if that one goes past the six it does look like it goes in the side Got to get straight back here on the 11. Four ball goes in the upper right. Slipped off just a little wide again. Boy, rolling right down that table. Funky little roll. Almost rolling that ball in. Not quite able to get there. 
I don't think Efren will play the nine here. I like straight backs as much as the next guy, but nobody wants to be jacked up over a ball. Pretty natural shape here to come back around for the 4 or 15 next. Clips that poor ball. Could have done without that. 4 still goes on the side though, that banks right around the 15. Oh, he's got room on the 15, I thought it was blocked. Catches that a little fat, goes wide on him. Good chance here for Mark. Heffern knocking one down. I think you're probably going to start with the six here. I don't know that the 15 gets around the six. banks on the side. They've gone a little wide on him. Let's see if he can tighten that up just a little bit. Is it nice and firm? Just a little wide again, slipping off that rail. Staying out of the corner pocket, though. Brings Efren back to the table. Straight back on the six ball, I would imagine. One banks on the side if he likes it. playing the one, but it looks like he's just kind of trying to come back down to the rail. Does get around the 13. Well, it goes, but that's not going to count. Spot that one up. I like the 15 in the side from here. Those passers have been a little problematic for him, just barely wide. I know whenever I'm barely missing a pocket, I, I want to keep shooting that shot because I feel like I can dial it in. See if he adjusts. Beautiful. Back of the pocket. Clips that four ball, and that could work out really well for him. And it does. Good look at this four ball right here. I want to make sure when I shoot this four ball that I'm going to hit it hard enough to come three rails around the three ball. I want to make sure I leave myself the six. I just don't want to get doubled up behind the three ball there. Hits it really well. It's kind of what I mean. I have, I want to get to that six ball. I think the three banks around the six, but that feels a little tougher for me. He's got the straight back on the two, though. If he doesn't like it. Well, Mark with his first lead in a while. Trying to get back in this match. Trailing 2 nothing. Again, this is round one Derby City Classic action. Yeah, a couple problems with this three. You, you got to get the cue out of the way. You're on the rail. A little harder to jack up and cinch this. You kind of got to play the passer, but I think he's going to need to hit this with a little bit of speed to get around it. I 
That six ball's big from there, too. It does bank around it, though. giving you trouble. I think the straight back on the two here is a pretty easy answer. his poster say up there find smiles inside hmm. yeah find smiles inside I'm into that It's tricky when you're playing a, a player of Efren's caliber you, you really feel the weight of all these shots and it's hard to not get caught up in Wanted to do, wanted to do so well. Straight back on the two here. It's a nice shot, back of the pocket. I'm gonna stick with a straight back here. I'm gonna try to play that six ball. He needs two. Love to get out of this rack. Best way to beat Efren is keep him in a seat, just like anybody else. Pretty close to the rail here. This is a harder one to cinch, especially because it's slipping as much as it is. Still doable. And hitting just a little wide there. Pretty fortunate with that leave. Doesn't leave anything down there. Straight back on the six if he wants it. Not sure the three passes the six. He likes the straight back. Is it a little wide? Gonna get back down to the rail. Efren needs four. Kind of personal preference here. Do you want to shoot a ball close to your object ball or a straighter bank? Uh, the three is pretty straight in the upper left hand corner here. Kind of like passing the 11 here. I have an easier time shooting banks that are closer to the cue ball. Like I said, three is pretty straight though. Needs two to get out of this. A little short. Could hurt. Oh, well, stays pretty close to the rail. Efren can definitely thin this three and make it, but really gotta watch your scratch here. 
Uh, straight back on the 11s, probably a little easier shot. I like these clip banks when they're that close to the rail, though. They're just a little less predictable for me. Yeah, settling on the 11. I just stiffed that one a little too much. Caught the cue ball. Across the face of this three ball. Very close to the rail, which makes it a little tougher, but very makeable bank here. Crossing the face of this three is, I think, the easiest way to play this ball. You got pretty natural shape to get on the 11 next. If you don't like it, the 12 definitely banks. in that three ball, that's for sure. Balls away from the win here. The Derby City Classic. Seal Fetter Gorse playing right next door to you. We're playing Ephraim. It's a big moment. So he wants to thin off the 11. Looks like playing the lower left-hand corner pocket. Is that one a little wide? Looks like Efren will play the straight back on the 11. He's got a little less angle on this three. It might not be possible for him. He might shoot the four railer here. Just gonna play single rail. Cinch it too much. Yeah, trying to stop the angle coming out. Does so too well. All right, three two lead for Mark. Looks like he's calling the chiller. It's a little clip Z bank here.
Everyone says, all right, let's see it. That's uh, not an easy shot there. I think I might have an easier time with the three railer than that one. It is makeable though. Yeah, nothing, nothing obvious here. I guess if he's thinking about that 12 off the bottom rail, top rail, lower right-hand corner pocket. Not sure if he's thinking about a safety option, but... Probably would have shot safe a few minutes ago here. Looking at that three railer. Good luck. Not quite converting, but man, that was close. Unfortunately, pocketing that six ball, and that's going to leave Efren a pretty dangerous shot here. Efren needs three. Gonna have to either elevate a little bit, figure out something to do with this cue ball to get it out of the way. The only reason it's remotely tricky is that he's on the rail, but it's gonna jack up a little bit. Comes short. Mark gets away with one there. All right, does the 15 pass the 10? I think it might. You can draw the line out of the center of that pocket up to that upper rail. It's got quite a bit of rail to work with. Heffern's got to be careful. Mark only needs two. I think he was trying to play that for a safer option, but it's it wide enough that, oh wow, might have got away with it here. I'm not sure if I'm going to turn this ball in. Yeah, pretty straight here, big 13 ball, so you lose a little bit of that rail. He's got to twist this ball. Able to do it beautifully back in the pocket. I don't think the 10 passes the three here for the straight back. I don't know that he can see enough of the three to twist it in in the upper left. He's taking a look. I love this shot. So coming across the face of the ball, you still got to turn this ball quite a bit. Just barely gonna miss wide of that pocket. Look at him turn that ball in. Wow, beautiful shot. He saw how wide that ball came and turned it all the way back into the pocket. Efren just needs the one. Straight back for the win. Slipped out on him. Not able to convert. All right, one to go. 
Philly's bummed he missed that one. Yeah, anytime you miss a set ball, it's disappointing. A little upset, but setting down. And let's see if Mark can pick a shot out here. Upper left hand corner on the 10, I think he's going with. Opened up for him. Did it get there? Don't think it got there. Oh, we're gonna get to see a little high rate light reel from Efren here. I think he's gonna play the three railer. He might just be playing the straight back here. He is so much fun to watch. Playing the three. Opens up. That's in the hole. Ladies and gentlemen, Efren Reyes, the magician, Bata, taking that one down 3 nothing. Great match from Mark Maxey. Thanks for tuning in here with Railbirds TV to the 2023 Derby City Classic. This is round one. We got so much more Derby City Classic action coming your way. Stay tuned.